Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. In my previous video, we have seen how volume based discounts can be applied using discount schedule in Salesforce CPQ. Today we are going to learn how term based discount schedule can be applied to a particular product using Salesforce CPQ. Let's quickly run through the agenda which remains same as last time except the use case. So last time we have seen what is discount schedule, how to configure it, where we can see the impact of. Today we are going to learn how term based discount schedule can be defined, how we can use the discount schedule on product option level and how can we apply the discount schedule on product feature level. The last one discount schedule with contract price that will cover separately when we cover contract pricing. So this was the use case one but rather we are moving forward to use case two which is ABC Corporation is selling a product which comes with a defined range of discounting based on the term for a product get purchased. So these are the term like for the lifespan of 1 to 12 month we are providing 10% discount for lifespan of 13 to 24 month we are providing 10% discount and if the product is being purchased for 25 month to 36 month uh, we are providing 15% discount. So let's review the configuration and let's see the demo. So I have a product called discount schedule use case 2 which is a subscription based product okay, as you can see over here and it has a look up to a term uh, look up to a discount schedule in a field called term discount schedule. Let's verify that particular discount schedule first which is a range based discount schedule which is a providing discount in percentage and here are the tiers. So from 1 to 13 it is 10 0 percent discount uh, upper bound is exclusive over here so that will become 1 to 12. Uh, 13 to 24 it will provide 10 percent discount and if the span is 25 to 36 it will provide 15 percent discount. Now let's review the same on the card. So I'll add this particular product which is discount schedule use case 2 and click select button which will take me to the card where I can see my list price is 1000. My net total becomes 1000 only because the product is being purchased for 12 months only. Now I'll make it to 24 which makes like it is having 10% discount. So if we make it like 1000 into 2 which is 2000 and as a 10% discount is being applied so 2000 minus 200 which becomes 1800. Now let's I'll make it change to 36. So that will become like 1000 into 3 which will become 3000. Apply 20 apply 15% on discount on 3000 which will become 2550 as 450 will be a discounting price or discount being applied to that particular product. So it will be 3000 minus 450 2550. This is how term based discount schedule works. Okay. Now we'll quickly cover the other part. So which was like a discount schedule how to apply discount schedule to a product option. So I have a product called bundle product DS which will have two features option level discount and feature level discount. It has three options being associated two into feature level discount and one into option level discount feature and on this product option we have a discount schedule called lab discount schedule. So if we move forward to that particular discount schedule we can see it is a type slab and these are the tiers for it. So if the quantity is between 1 to 10 0 percent discount 11 to 21 10 percent discount and 21 to 31 20 percent discount will be applied. So let's first review the same on option level discounting. So I'll select this bundle check this checkbox and I'll select this particular bundle which is option DS and on which we have applied the discount schedule. So I'll click save and as soon as I land on card I won't be expecting any discount because the quantity is 1 so it will become 1000 only. As soon as I make a change to the quantity we can see the discount right. So if it is not discounting the price should be 11,000 but now it is discounting and since it's a slab based pricing so first for first 10 quantity it won't be applying any discount so 10 into 1000 it will be 10,000. And for the next one quantity it will be applying 10% uh, discount as per the discount tiers mentioned over here. 
so which will become 1000 and on top of that 10% discount that will become 900 so 10,000 per 900 which is 10,900 and we are getting that particular one if I make it to 21 it will price it accordingly uh, as we have mentioned in the tiers okay and it will provide the net total this was applying a discount schedule on product option level now we are going to cover how a discount schedule can be applied on a feature level so over here we have another feature called feature level discount on which also we can provide the discount schedule so we have provided a slip based discount schedule that we just saw but the difference is this discount schedule as it is applied on product feature it will apply to both the products right now available in the system under this particular feature and it will apply to all the products which are being uh, associated with this particular feature so let's review the same I'll reconfigure the screen I'll uncheck this and we'll select both these products so on this one I'll provide quantity as 11 and on this one I'll left I'll leave it as 1 so I'll click save and I'll land on the cart where I can see the quantity is 11 price is list price is 2000 but my net price is becoming 12 21800 which means first 10 into 2000 which will be 20,000 and then uh, 2000 into 1 having 10% discount that means 1800 so 20,000 plus uh, 1800 become 21800 if I make it to 21 it will be same like 2000 into 10 plus 10 into 1800 plus 1 into 1 into 2 uh, 1600 which will make it 39600 and the same would be over here if I make it 1111 11, it will be something like 10 into 300 uh, 3000 plus uh, 1 into 2700 which will make it 3270 and if I make it 21 it will price it accordingly so this is how we can utilize discount schedule to provide volume based discount term based discount schedule and even we can use those discount schedule on product option and product feature level thank you for watching the videos uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel to get into touch and having this videos learning thank you very much